Welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this letterhead in Word and how you can save it as a template. So I'm going to open a new document and the first thing I'm going to do is go to layout, select my margins and select narrow. And I'm also going to press my return key so that it's roughly halfway down the page. That just gives me a little bit of flexibility. Click insert Go to table and select three columns and two rows and then I'm going to select the table I'm going to go to layout and I'm going to select two centimeters and press enter Then, whilst it's selected I'm going to go to this icon here which means everything that I place in my table will be aligned to the center then in this section here I'm going to put some text this will be my phone numbers. In this one here, I'll put my emails. And in this one here, I'll put my address. Then the top one here, I'm going to put some icons. But I'm just going to select all three cells to begin with. Go up to layout and then select this alignment, which means that everything I place will be at the bottom center of my cells. So in this cell, I'm going to go to insert and I'm going to use my icons. In the search bar at the top, I'm going to insert phone and select from these phones. I'm going to select this one here and click insert. Now, whilst this icon is selected, I'm going to go to height, keep this checkbox ticked and I'm going to select one centimeter and press enter. You can have it as big or as small as you want. And then in the graphics format, I'm going to go to this fill icon and I'm going to select this color. You don't have to change the color, but I'll just show you how you can do that. Then in this cell here, I'm going to go back up to the search bar and type in email. I'm going to select this icon, click insert, do the same, press one and press enter. And then graphics fill, I'm just going to click on that color. It's already been selected, so I'm just going to click. Then finally in this cell here, I'm going to type location select this icon and click insert yet again go up press one centimeter press enter and click the color once again so now all of those are lined up and inserted and we can go and customize all of these border lines so i'm going to select my table by clicking on this top left square i'm going to go to table design i'm going to go to borders click on the drop down and select no borders then I'm going to select the weight of the borders that I want. So I'm going to select two and a quarter points. I'm then going to choose my color, which is already selected. Then I'm just going to select the top row. You can't see the border lines at the moment, but select the top row, click on borders, and I want the top row or the top border to be seen. And then I'm going to select the lower row select borders and I want the two inside vertical borders to be seen and I just want to close this gap here between that line and these icons and to do that I need to select this top row go to layout and I'm just going to reduce the height to 1.5 and press enter now those graphics are done I can just simply press my return key and move that down to the bottom until I'm happy. Now usually you can move it down, you'll create a second page, delete and then it'll take it back up to the first page. Now onto the graphics, go to insert, shapes, click on the drop down and then you just need to select this shape here. Then click and draw out the shape and for this shape we need to reverse it so just click on this square here and move it across. And I'm going to use this yellow square to customize it. So I'm just going to increase that angle. And then I'm going to widen the shape. Then I'm going to place it at the top. I'm then going to select it, make sure we're on shape format. And I'm just going to get rid of that borderline. And then to copy it, I'm going to select it, hold down my Alt or Option key, click and drag. And then I'm going to do that one more time. So with this one, I'm just going to change the color to a darker gray. And then this one, I'm going to select a lighter gray and move it up. 
and you can see they're not in the right position so I need to move them forwards and backwards so for this one I need to move it backwards so go to send backwards center back and do exactly the same with this one send backwards center back and now I'm just going to move them over then I'm going to select all three of these by holding down my command or control key and selecting all three shapes go up to align distribute horizontally will mean that they're all perfectly aligned equally and then align to bottom or we'll make sure they're all aligned at the bottom there go to group select group and then we can move it all around as one element then we can go to insert shapes square click and drag out a square and for this one again we're going to go to the outline select no outline shape select a lighter gray and then go to send backwards send back then we can hold down the command or control key and select both elements then go to group and select group that way we can move this round to exactly where we want it now once you finish with the graphics if you want this to all go onto a second page you will have to put it into the headers and footers now there, there's a really easy way to do it all you have to do is select your element go to the home tab and copy it using this icon just delete it double click at the top and then go to the home tab and click paste and then simply paste it in move it to the top and double click back in the main document you can see it's adjusted this table here so all we need to do is just move that up by using the delete key and then if you want this table again in the headers and footers select it copy it press the delete key double click in headers and footers by double clicking at the top or the bottom go to the home tab and just select paste and then double click back into the main document and as you can see you've now duplicated it into the headers of footers now that's not for everyone some people don't like it grayed out and some people that's perfect because obviously if you want to go onto a second page you can some people want to create a different second page and that's completely acceptable so you can go ahead and do that if you want to so I'm just going to go back so that we don't have these in the headers and footers just pressing command or control Z numerous times until we're back to the original perfect so now we can insert the logo so go to insert pictures picture from file select your logo click insert again you're going to have things move around a little bit they won't move around if they're in your headers and footers but they will if they're in the main body of the document just use your cursor here just to delete and move that back up then we can move this anywhere we like but first of all we've got to select it go to picture format go to wrap text in front of text and now we can move it anywhere we like in the document now you can go ahead and type normally if you want to in your page what you will notice is every time you type and press enter obviously you're going to push everything down and then you've got to click drag and delete it so it comes back on the page that's sometimes why it's a good idea that you put this in the headers and footers and not in the main document alternatively as I like to do go to insert text box draw text box click and drag out a text box this usually only works well if you want just one page then put your cursor at the top here by double clicking inside and insert your text I'm just going to copy some text in if you deselect it you can see we've got this border around the outside so select it go to shape format go to outline no outline deselect and you can see the outline is gone this allows you just to play with your borders if you want to increase or decrease those margins it also allows you to move this around any way you like you can see we've got a white background here so I'm just going to go to shape fill and select no fill and then you've got lots of different customization options here to place the text wherever you like but then to align it to the center just go to this align tool align to center and then you've got that perfect alignment for your letter now if you want to go ahead and save this out as a template go to file save as template make sure it's saved in your templates file 
and make sure this says Microsoft Word template. If it doesn't, click on the drop down and select it from the drop down. Name it to be a document of your choice and then simply click save. If you do that, when you open your Word software, your template will be saved on that home page and you can use it time and time again, which saves you having to recreate it each time. If you don't want to create this yourself, I will leave a link in the description below for where you can download it. But I hope it's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.